would you define Indian smart city? How do I find Indian smart cities? I think Indian smart cities shouldn't be any different to global smart cities. I think they have to have a balance of uh, society. Um, they have to have um, very good infrastructure. Um, the built environment also should be exemplar. Um, but it also needs to have a balanced view of the economy, um, uh, well-paid jobs, um, good governance, um, as well as attracting you know, equal public and private sector projects. So. And what are your thoughts on the Indian government initiative to create 98 smart cities? So what are your words on that? Uh, I think it's a fantastic initiative. I think it's, um, you know, it's refreshing that a government and a, and a country is looking to promote smart and technology um, into urban everyday life um, as much as India are doing. I think we, we're currently working on, um, or currently supporting two of the states at the moment, so Rajasthan and Gujarat, um, and our positives have been, uh, our experience has been very, very positive. So. Um, I think it's just building in a considered way. I think um, as engineers, and I'm an engineer by training, um, we often try and do things the most efficient um, and most optimal way. Um, I think, but you know, as technology is becoming ever more, uh, in, or ever increasing in uh, daily life, we, start, we need to start thinking about how technology can help support what we do, but not just from an engineering point of view, how we can use technology and engineering for the betterment of society. Um, I've worked on uh, the Saudi Arabia equivalent to Mazda, uh, a project called uh, KCARE. I'm working on a number of projects in the US and the UK, uh, where typically we're looking at developing new towns and new cities from anything from 100,000 people to 4 million people. Um, so obviously at that kind of scale you need to think at a, at, at a holistic viewpoint. You need to think about how to make the systems as efficient as possible, but also make the cities attractive for people to live in, to socialize, to have a good um, work-life balance. Because if you design cities for you know, economy and efficiency and jobs, then the, the, the place will be very, very sterile. So it's making sure that you're balancing um, all of those key areas um, within your work. What do you think young architects and engineers must imbibe to build beautiful and build smart? They have to understand technology, you know, first and foremost. I think today's society and the way that technology is infusing into society, architects and engineers have to understand the opportunity. I think, unfortunately, most universities around the world separate computer sciences with engineering and architecture. I think we need to have more integrated courses so um, you get an understanding of, um, of, of both worlds, effectively, because otherwise you know, technology will uh, be integrated without a broader holistic thought. So.